He's made things worse. He's raised the prospect of finding new ways to make things harder in the future. Even from the comfort of number 11 Downing Street, the Chancellor cannot have failed to hear the growing calls for some relief on fuel taxation. And if he, and if he refused to listen, then it was the Secretary of State's job to prise open his ears and tell him just how hard it is for Britain's motorists right now. But in the budget negotiations, Mr Speaker, she secured diddly squat. Instead, faced with rise, rising record petrol prices, she set her face against calls for relief in fuel tax, including the call for a temp... I just said in response to the Minister on the Treasury bench who was inquiring whether the use of the term diddly squat was parliamentary. Uh, what I would say to the Honourable Lady into the House is it's a matter of taste rather than of order. <laughs> Mr Woodcock. Well, I shall, I shall take that as a, as a lesson, Mr Speaker. Thank you.